Now, if you like the idea of buying your food locally but prefer the convenience of online shopping, this could be the solution. Hackney is hosting the UK's first food assembly. Local producers sell their wares via a website and buyers pick up the goods at a designated collection point in their neighbourhood. Jean McKenzie has been to see how it works. It's Tuesday night at a bar in East London and Tom's come to pick up his weekly shop. He's ordered cheese from Tottenham, bread made in Haggerston and fish from a monger in Greenwich. This is Britain's first food assembly where members look through a list of local produce online, order and pay for what they want beforehand, then come here to collect it. Going somewhere like Broadway Market is becoming more of a kind of leisure activity. And, you know, you go there to get food to eat there and then, whereas something like this is more like, you know, nipping to the supermarket on your way home, but you can support local producers while you're doing it. The idea is to cut out the middleman, the supermarket, by introducing the people who want to buy the food directly to those who are producing it in their area. And the theory is that everybody gets a better deal and a nicer experience. It gives me a bit of predictability because we, can, we know a few days in advance what the orders are going to be, so we know what, what we're bringing. Because quite often what happens is you go to a market and you bring enormous amounts and you take home enormous amounts. Assemblies have one strict rule. None of the food is allowed to travel more than 150 miles to get there. So convincing people to shop this way is the challenge. You're up against a supermarket that can basically supply anything and they can supply at any cost. We are supplying produce that's locally sourced at the fairest price possible and the price that it should be. It's about educating people to see how much produce really should cost. With 15 more assemblies on the way in London, the hope is that this could change how small pockets of the capital get their groceries. Jean McKenzie, BBC London News.